the Aztotlan culture, located from the northwesternmost tip of Mesoamerica in modern-day Sinaloa, going down from a stretch of coastline all the way to Jalisco. When one searches for this culture online, they are greeted by references to the homeland of the Aztecs, Aztlan. Therefore, it is hard to find much information on it. It probably gets its name from an area that has the same name. This is seen in the Leonzo de Tlaxcala, a post-conquest canvas depicting a scene labeled Aztlan, led by Nuno de Guzman, the Spaniard who conquered western Mexico and came into contact with the peoples of the Aztlan culture. There will be a film that goes deeper into his expedition and his atrocities that made him unpopular to Spaniard and native alike. The people of the Aztlan culture are mostly re renowned for their pottery. They were divided into three regions, Culiacan, Chiamela, and Daquichamoa. It is believed the Aztlan culture first began in around the 250s AD. The only large site that is attributed to them is a site called El Cajon, a 30 meter tall pyramid made of shells the only one in the world. The reason for this is that stone was rare, but shells were in abundance, therefore they made it out of shells. This also shows how the Aztlan people were tied to the ocean, incorporating seafood into their diet. It is believed that they migrated from the coast inland. How the Aztlan culture spread in all directions is also indicative of their trade. They traded in all directions, trading shells and pottery, and serving as middlemen between various groups. Some of these include the Trincheras culture to the north of them, who were related to the Mogollon people of the southwest. The Aztlan people also traded with their Mesoamerican neighbors to the south, including the Mixtecs of Oaxaca, their pottery influencing the pottery of the region. Lastly, and most notably, to their east, they traded with the Chalchihuitas culture, of which this channel has created a film on them. There will be an icon on the top right to click if you want to see it. When the Tlachihuitas fell by the 1200s AD, archaeologists believe the Tlachihuitas refugees fleeing settled in Aztlan lands and also influenced them. By the time of the Spanish contact, the Aztlan lands were speaking a novel-like language. It would be Nuno de Guzman, referred to as the most despicable man to have ever set foot in the Americas, who would bring Aztlan dominated lands under Spanish control through what is called a campaign of fire and blood. The Aztlan culture would face many dying from disease and being overworked. It would not be until the early 20th century when the Aztlan culture would be rediscovered with Americans looking for a port for commerce in the Sea of Cortez who would stumble upon Aztlan mountains and burials containing pottery and more artifacts that are now in museums across the U.S. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to see the future videos on how the Spanish conquered the Aztlan culture.